Okay, so what I did, uh, I didn't have any 1x6 here, so I had an old cedar shingle. I just carved a couple little slots, slid the shingle in, and I glued it on the bottom side. Yeah, it's ugly epoxy. It looks like you know what, but I'm not going to say it. I'm going to spray this all black. And then, uh, you know, you got to think this birdhouse, the back, nobody's going to be looking at this piece, okay? It's going to, like, nobody's going to be looking at the back. So I just made this. It's not a perfect fit. Um, the birds need to breathe, right? So that's your excuse on that one. So I just make it tight on the bottom. And then uh, I'll, I'll uh, screw this on later. But I'm going to, when it's like this, I'm going to paint it all, the back all black right now. There you go. What goop? What goop? I'm working on my other birdhouse, so I'll uh, let this dry. Then we'll put some a screw here, a screw here, some wire in or something. We'll figure it out how to attach this piece. All right. So this is going to be our, our second birdhouse with a wood spirit on it. This one's going to have a flat back. It's going to be a lot more basic. It's going to have a flat back because you can hang it against a wall or hang it wherever you want to hang it, I guess. So this piece is uh, 14 inches tall. It's western red cedar. It's uh, 8 inches wide. And it's already got a flat back. So if your log just normally went like this, you could just get an axe and cut it off. Or if you had a saw, cut it straight back, right? So this is a good log to uh, start with for this birdhouse. So what I'm going to do is simply this is going to be a lot simpler this is going to be the very beginning beginners uh very beginner birdhouse with a wood spirit on it okay so this birdhouse is going to be the, for the very beginner wood carver so it's going to be a very beginner uh birdhouse with a wood spirit on it so you always start off with your center lines we're going to do the roof first okay this roof like is not going to have a steep pitch like my last one we're going to leave this roof fairly not much of a pitch so we can carve more face on this one. So there's that, and there's that. Okay, so your roof has to have a, a line, so this will be the roof here, okay? A fascia board. So this will be the fascia board, but we'll just bend our shingles over and make these shingles, okay? So what I'm gonna do with my chainsaw is I'm gonna cut this piece out, this wedge, and this wedge, and that will give you your slope. And we have, so look how much room we have for our face on here. So let's redraw the fascia board on our, or the shingles, okay? So center line. So there's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a straight cut with my saw. About, I'm not going to take this piece too deep, okay? So it's going to be about an uh, inch and a half, two inches deep, all the way around this line. Then I'm going to cut, so it's going to be a straight cut in. Then I'm going to come up and bevel, pull that chip right out, okay? I'm going to be using my little Echo 2511 with the 8 inch uh, carving bar on here.
Okay, so the roof is in. Let's take a closer look. Okay, don't worry about those shingles coming around the front. I'll cut that after. But you think now, like, oh, what am I going to do? How am I going to carve the face? It's in the jaw horse. Well, I'll show you a simple solution for that. You just got a board like this with some screws in the back. I'm going to take this out. Okay, take this out. Put your board in. Do your jaw horse up. Okay, now I can screw this to there and I can carve right there. So I'll do that in off film. And we'll talk about carving the face and hole in the back and putting the bird hole in. Okay, boof, just like that. Very beginner. So, you got to watch where you put your screws. Because if you're carving here, you don't want to hit a screw. It's going to dull your chainsaw real quick, right? So, let's start off with the center line. That center. Where do you want your eyes? Your nose. Mustache. That's it. You just go to town and have a good time. That's all. Like, sorry, I'll, that nose is, that's not a very good uh, template for the very beginner birdhouse maker, so we'll go like this. Okay. So we don't have much like the first one we had no we couldn't get in there to carve because it was too deep this one we have lots of room to carve we can carve eyes and you know also like i said this is going to be a wall hanger or you can have it sitting on your thing on your patio or on a fence or whatever you can screw it to the fence you can do it's going to have a flat bottom but you can also do this too you know cut this off maybe i'll do it a bit give it some shape so it's not just so flat Okay, but this one's a lot easier. So now what you do is you just start carving yourself the wood spirit. I'm going to block it out quick with the chainsaw. Okay, because also, you ha don't forget you have to take it off this back and the, the board here. Because you got to hollow out the back too, right? So... Okay, so there you can see our wood spirits uh, carved in, just bulked out. Um, everybody, I have lots of tutorials in my place, in my uh, playlist, how to carve a wood spirit for the very beginners. Okay, so what we got now is a drill with a spade bit, okay? I don't know what the size it is, it's not too big, but um, I'm going to put the bird hole in here now. Okay, I'm going to drill that in for the bird to get in. I'm going to drill it deep because the deeper I drill it, inside here and it goes farther back in here when i'm hollowing out this back with my chainsaw or if you guys are using one of the easier forester bit however you hole out the back that way i can tell the, the how depth how deep i am getting to the face okay so when i'm carving the back i'll see this i'll see this hole inside here and i'll see it go like this and i want to leave like that much depth if you guys can understand i know that's hard to uh to get what i just said but hopefully it makes sense This hole is way too small. Let's try this one. So this is a spade bit, they're fairly affordable. Okay, you guys wanna do some research in your local area and find out what uh, size hole your native birds are. Uh, require because you don't want to open up holes for foreign birds like uh, invasive birds i guess you could say so um now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this off this board here put it back in the jaw horse and hollow out the back okay so you'll see on here i got this marked out it's a square cut okay so i want to make this all one piece so there's going to be a floor but if you guys don't have a carving bar and you're unsure about using pretend this is the tip of my chainsaw bar if you're unsure about using the tip of your bar to hollow it out because you're afraid of kickback, then just get your bar, pretend this is my bar, 
and just go like this you know like down here because then you can see because then you can is this on camera yep because then you can get your bar and just go like this pretend this is the bar all the cuts down here and then take it out and it's easier to haul or you could also use your forester a bit too to haul it out a bit maybe i'll show you guys okay so i got the beginning birdhouse um in the jaw horse this is a forester bit okay these are more expensive than spade bits but they work pretty good i'm just going to do one hole just to show you how you can do it Okay, so that's how you can also haul it out too with that. But I'm gonna stand this up in the jaw horse and I'm gonna haul it out with my chainsaw. Okay, if you're watching this video and you're a very beginner with the chainsaw carving, this jaw horse, you could put things different angles. So you see how I got this sideways now? So I go like this, if I slip, I'm not gonna hit the metal here. It's on an angle, it's easier on the back. Now I'll just take my time, use the tip and haul this out. I'll do it on a super time lapse. Okay, so that's five minutes real carving with a chainsaw. And you see how um, real crucial it is to have this hole drilled in before? Because now I can see the depth that I got to work with, right? So I got that much depth. I did take this out and down here out a bit. So later on, I can just put a board on there just like that. Put a couple nails in there, fold the nails over, and there's your thing. Okay, so now what we can do is we can put it back on our uh, board and... Um, carve the face I guess carry on okay so it's back on place I'm not gonna explain how to do a wood spirit for the very beginner but you guys can see my block out here I got the nose on and everything so but I'll show you what tools I'm gonna use okay I'm gonna start off with this die grinder any die grinder will work this is a cut saw extreme flame burr totally worn out if you guys want to get these burrs go to the description below it will take you to the cut saw site you can use the code c fusion save five percent this is quarter inch burr that goes in the die grinders or your fordhams okay here's a cheap when a rotary tool with the with the dremel flex shaft and here is a cut saw one eighth burr in this uh dremel flex shaft okay then i got another cheap rotary tool this is the Dremel bit. This is what gives you the dark lines around the eyes and stuff. I'll show you after and you get details with this. It burns the wood when you carve. It is a Dremel 125 bit and they do come smaller, okay? So when you buy packs of these, you get two and they last a long time. So Dremel 125 bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carve a wood spirit. I'm gonna detail it. Nothing crazy, just quick. Okay, so I know everything's all lopsided on this. One eye is lower than the other eye, and it doesn't matter. It's a wood spirit. It's the, the they can be whatever you want them to be. You don't even have to give them real eyes. Give them hollow eyes. Just have fun. That's the most important thing. Is have fun. And uh, so what we're gonna do next is we'll cut in some uh, shingles with my chainsaw and the beard hairs. Then we'll burn it and we'll flap sand it. Put the back piece on. Collar done. Spirit on a birdhouse. Well, you 
do is unscrew it. Put it on your table, see how it looks. Okay, so there you go. This will be the first video. This will be the second video. Like I said, you guys can you can put a hook here, put a hook here, put a rope, hang it against the wall. You guys, I'm not gonna. I don't have the board to make this back, but you see, you just cut out a board. You bang a nail here. You bang a nail there. You bend the nails over, and that holds it in spot. Okay. So two completely different style of wood spirit birdhouses. This one's more for the beginner. This one's advanced because it's it's a uh, deeper carving inside there so I hope you guys are all good and what I gotta do now is I gotta bring this big log inside my tent because it's like a thousand pounds I think um because I'm gonna carve an eagle and a planter box with a green man or a wood spirit on it or something just kind of like this guy here see the owl but instead with an eagle on the top Mm-hmm. <laughs>